Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I bring good tidings in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Has been your day and has been your year. By the mercies of God, I pray that wherever you're watching me from, blessings is on your part in the name of Jesus. Beloved, 2020 has been so rough. Like I do say, it has been a very troublesome year. <laughs> but we are approaching a new year, which is called 2021. What are your plans? What are your decisions? See, you don't just go into a year like this and just you just go in just like that. You have to set your goals. Set your priorities. Make sure you have everything intact. What do you want in this year? From this season to this season, how do you want it? State priorities. Don't sit down. The book of uh, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. That verse is telling you, sitting down alone will not make you shine. Sitting in that house alone will not make you shine. You have to take a step. You have to arise. Those who are rich today never sat down. They started somewhere. Somewhere. Sometimes they were, they, they were awake while you are sleeping. In this coming year, do something and make, you make God proud of you. In that company where you work, throughout 2020, come, let me talk to you. How many people do you preach to? How many people, how many souls do you win for Christ? How many souls do you tell about the love of Christ? How many, how many people do you tell that Christ died for them on the cross of Calvary? Yes, they knew. But for you to be there, you are God's ambassador. Preach it. Tell them. Let them know. Remind them again and again. Jesus is coming soon. The rapture will sound. Now listen. I do say this. If the rapture doesn't sound so quick, I and you will not stay on earth forever. Sure, we are not going to stay on earth forever. And it is what you do now that will create a home for you. Now listen, the Bible says, set your affection on things above and not on things on earth. So, if you don't have anything on earth, if you don't have anything on earth, good. But if you have things in heaven, you have your priorities even first. It is not good for you to end just like this while running after worldly pleasures. God bless you.